Good morning, ladies. Um, so I'm gonna be talking about chapter 10 today. I think I did skip two chapters. Um, so if you're reading the book, you might have noticed that. Um, if you're not reading the book, you won't notice at all. Um, so this is chapter 10, and I will say, I did write these notes out last week and then never came into the video. Um, so hopefully I can remember what I was talking about. Um, so the lie is I should be further along right now. I think this is so um, pertinent to especially us in here, but also just people everywhere um, because we all, so, it's so hard to feel like you're where you're supposed to be, right? You have all these big goals, these big dreams, things you wanted to accomplish by a certain time. Um, and then you've got like that nagging feeling like I should be further along or you see someone else that is further along and you know, why aren't I that accomplished in whatever yet? Hey Libby. Um, so that I should be further along right now lie I think is huge. I think it's in most of our heads um, and like most lies, it's not serving us. <laughs> so this chapter was really like talking about um, putting the focus on not what you haven't done but what you have done. So I'm going to go through a few things that she talked about. Um, she said that she surveyed um, a lot of women about what was like the worst thing um, about growing older. <laughs> yes, Libby just read it and now she needs to believe it. <laughs> so true. Um, it, the first part is getting conscious, right? We get conscious about it and then we can change our thinking. Um, so she said, um, she surveyed a bunch of women about what growing older meant to them and almost everyone had it mean like they didn't want to grow older because of what they hadn't accomplished yet. And she didn't really understand um, everyone's thinking a little bit because she loves celebrating her birthday and it's like a fun thing. Um, so I know usually there's like both, you're one or the other, right? Hey Nina, you're either like falling into that, I don't wanna get a year older because of all the stuff I haven't done or you're like celebrating your birthday the entire birthday month and you're like, it's my birthday month. <laughs> um, how much more fun would it be if we all were like, it's my birthday month. <laughs> So um, she talks about people are just there like f dreading their birthdays. They don't want to celebrate it. They don't want to talk about it because it reminds them of what they haven't done yet. That's really what it came down to. Um, and what that is, is a focus on the absence of things. So we're focusing on what we haven't accomplished, what we're not as far along as we want it to be. Um, and that is like a huge boatload of negative talk in our heads that you you might have so much negative talk right now, and it's fine. It's you st all, We're all starting somewhere. You might have so much negative talk going in your head that you don't even notice it. Um, she says that it can become like white noise. So if you ever have like a white noise around, like say the fan is on, um, you don't even notice it's on until like someone shuts it off, right? It's just like on in the background or an air conditioner. Um, so your negative talk right now might be such white noise in the background that you don't even know you're saying it to yourself. Some of us are um, becoming conscious of that white noise, so it's like bringing it into consciousness, so we're noticing it. Um, and then the next step is like changing our thoughts about it, but we have to notice it first. So. Um, even just realizing it's there, like Libby was saying, is a huge um, step. So um, she says that um, having grace with your goals is super important. I think we talk about that a lot in here. Um, a lot of us have weight loss goals and um, we need to have grace with that, right? Because we might say, okay, I, it's great to have goals. I love the big goals. Like, okay, I wanna lose 20 pounds by blah, blah, blah. That's great, but you have to, we have to have grace with that. Like, if we don't reach it, that's okay because we will eventually reach it, right? It's just, the timeline might be different and that's totally fine. Um, that's why Alana talks so much about like, focusing on having the big goal, but focusing on the two pounds at a time or 0.2 pounds at a time. Um, and that lets us have grace with our goals, which she says is so important. Um, she says, we wanna focus on what we have done um, and celebrate those small moments. Um, so like talking about weight loss, right? Um, say you lost over like you're looking over a week and you're down a pound or you're down 0.4 pounds that might sound like nothing compared to like 
you want to lose 50 pounds. But if we celebrate all those small moments, um, eventually those are going to add up and you're going to be down 50 pounds. And I think so many of you in here are doing that. You're like, yeah, I'm down, you know, 0.4 pounds from last week or I'm back from where I was after a crazy weekend of craziness. <laughs> um, so celebrating those small moments, um, it also like brings gratitude and focus to it. And then you'll keep having more of those moments. Um, so I like how she said that. Um, nothing is more important than, I wrote so messy here. Um, nothing is more important than today. That's great, right? That's all we have is like the present moment. Um, and, oh, this is the good part. Um, so she said, by not being where you should be, by focusing on not being where you should be, it's highly possible you will end up exactly where you were. Oh my gosh. By not being where you should, where you thought you should be, you will end up exactly where you were meant to go. I don't know what I was saying there, but I remember thinking that was awesome. <laughs> by, by not being where you thought you should be, you will end up exactly where you meant, you, were, you will most likely end up exactly where you were meant to go. Basically, we don't know the timeline. So we don't always know when we're gonna get somewhere, but if we're celebrating those small moments, then we probably will get where we're meant to go. It might not be where we think we're supposed to go, um, but she's saying like, you'll get where you're meant to go. Um, oh, and I like this too, is um, there are so many things that, um, so you look, we look at other people, right? We're like, oh, I wish I could have that. I, you know, so-and-so lost 13 pounds. I wish I was down 13 pounds already. Um, so-and-so went to that concert. I wish I could have gone to that concert. Um, anything, right? Um, we look at other people and we think, oh, why can't I have that? That same person is looking at someone else. Why can't I have that? <laughs> so there's so many things that you've done that someone else wants to do. So it might be on their bucket list and you've done it. So we need to make sure we're not always looking out like, hey, they already did that, I wanna do it. I mean, that's good to know, right? Cause you, that shows you where you wanna go. But, it's, but you don't wanna be focused on the lack of not doing it. You, you're thinking like, oh, that inspires me to want to lose 13 pounds. But at that same time, we need to realize we've done so many things that other people would like pay crazy money or time to be able to do. Um, so what I liked is she said what helped her working through this lie of I should be further along right now is uh, making a list of accomplishments that you have done. And that's the discussion question, is making a list of accomplishments. I said, I think I wrote, let's do at least 10. I was gonna say 15, but I think I wrote 10. So I'll look back after. But we wanna write a list of accomplishments. What have you accomplished? Um, what are you most proud of? How does it feel focusing on those accomplishments instead of what you haven't done? Um, so that's huge because everyone has done so many things um, and like so many things that other people would love to do. So make our list of accomplishments. I'll do it too in the comments. Um, she says talking to someone about how you feel is huge because they'll be like, are you crazy? You know, you've, you've had three kids. You've lost the weight once. You've taken them on vacation whatever there's so like you graduated college whatever it is they'll be like you're crazy you've done so much like even just you getting up in the morning and getting through your day is huge <laughs> um so if you tell someone like you think you should be further along by now um if they're like don't tell someone that's like a negative person that's gonna bring you down you know who to talk to um but like they'll tell you you're crazy and all the awesome things you've done. And that's like a nice reminder. Um, so a few little things at the end is she said, um, set goals, not time limits. So I know so many times, I mean, I've read books that are like, you have to make your goals, set your goals and set a time limit with it, which I do think is important, but we have to know that time limit. It's like what we're pushing for. But when we hit that time limit, as long as we're working towards it still, that's totally fine and we can make a new time limit. Um, so if your goal is to lose 20 pounds by the summer or by whenever, um, and you reach the summer, maybe you're down 15 pounds, you didn't reach your goal, but we wanna focus on you're down 15 pounds. <laughs> um, so she says set goals, not time limits, which I really like. Um, big dreams should not have expiration dates. 
That was another good one. So big dreams should not have expiration dates as long as you're working on them. So as long as you are making forward progress on whatever your goal is, if it's losing weight, if it's writing a book, growing a business, whatever it is, um, it shouldn't have an expiration date. As long as you're working towards it, you're doing it. And that's huge. So this was chapter 10. The lie was I should be further along right now. I think all of us, I'm sure, have told ourselves this many, many times. Um, so let's write a list of our accomplishments and see what we're most proud of and focus on what we have done and where we are going. I hope everyone has a great day.